Good morning, guys. I am currently vlogging and introing this at the airport, so it might be really loud. But I am up really early at the airport on my way to Sydney. I'm spending the day with Olivia today. We've got a bit of podcast recording to do, um, just some filming, and yeah, just gonna get as much done as we can today. We might even go shopping or something. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be like a really quick day. Like I'm just going for the day and then I'm flying back later tonight. So it's gonna be a long day, but I've ordered my morning coffee. I've not eaten anything, so it's a really bad idea that I'm having this on an empty stomach, but I just felt like I needed something. I woke up so early. I'm actually on my way about to pick Ashley up from the airport. Oh, I've got our podcast playing. I've been obsessed with this music lately, mainly for the gym, but it's like techno <laughs> versions of songs, like literally any song, and it's like a techno version of it, so like, it can be slow songs as well. And that's kind of what I've been loving for the gym because it just like really hypes you up. It's like so good. It's like remixes and stuff. And any Lana Del Rey song I love. Like, I literally just am obsessed with her music. But, techno version of video games. Literally had it on repeat at the gym the other day. Like, the whole session. It's just so good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm on the way to pick Ashley up from the airport. And yeah, we've got a little day planned. I think she's meant to be flying home today as well. So it's like in and out. But we've got like podcast things to do. And just hang out, I guess. It's a stunning day today as well. So I made it. filming anxiety all the time and I've been doing this for so long but I still get it <laughs> she's vlogging as well there's gonna be a vlog vlog crossover okay. hello say hi to the camera hello <laughs> we're both vlogging <laughs> How was your flight? That's good. Took off a little bit later, but it was fine. I was in an exit row, so I got some nice leg room. Yeah, I definitely left way too early because I've been sitting here for like 40 minutes. I like the outfit. My Etsy pants. <laughs> they kind of pulled through. <laughs> they kind um, of slayed. Did you see my story? No. Of me wearing them? Oh, uh, yeah, I replied to it. I was thinking we can, <laughs> we have like one hour. Do you know where the studio is located? Because we, yeah, we have an hour. We have the meeting at what, 12.30? And then we're going straight into podcast recordings for maybe two hours. Yeah. And then we should be done by like three-ish. And then I have a couple hours. What time do you have flat? Like seven, so I should probably be at the airport like 5.30. Really? Yeah. You literally need to walk straight through yeah, but, security. Yeah, but that you need to check in like 40 minutes before boarding now. And no, I just have anxiety online. that I'm gonna miss my flight. Checking online. Yeah, well, they didn't let me check in online on the way here because I was in an exit row. So uh, sometimes you can't check in online. And well, I just I have just, anxiety no, about missing my I flight. I usually now, just so. check in online, and then literally, if you have got no check in, you just walk straight through security. It's like ten minutes. I know, but I still get anxiety. Well, um, I bought a book though. I'll start reading it on the plane. What is that? It's uh, oh, Ikigai. That. Ikigai. 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 I Ikigai. was reading a book Ikigai. and it was about that. Um, I can't remember what it was called. Simple Secrets to a Long and Happy Life. This is good. So far. Hmm. Hey guys, so we are five minutes away from the studio. I've I never been to this one yet. I really so wish really I got something to eat this morning because I'm so hungry. 
and I didn't have time to have breakfast. Um, but yeah, we're off to the studio. We're going for a new one today, so I really hope it's nice because we want to film some visual content in there as well. But yeah, we also have like a 30 minute meeting before the studio and then two hours of recording. So we're gonna, we're gonna be in there all day. And then after that, we have so much free time. Mike's gonna put no junction. To go shopping. Go shopping. Who knows what what else we could do. There's not really that much else to do. I just go get food. I do wanna go shopping though, because Sydney have a lot of stores that not Gold Coast really. don't have. Not really. Only one. <laughs> but I feel like shoe shops as well, or even just like the stock that's in Sydney, I feel like really? I there's never anything any I can buy in, in Gold Coast. I can't stuff. find any shoes in like Sydney. Like I'm always buying online. I was looking at Opoly because I've never worn their dresses before and they are quite nice but one shipping is like 20 to 30 dollars and and their models do not look like me one time I because I had events coming up this is like end of last year and I bought a bunch of things from Opoly and like it ended up costing me a couple hundred dollars because it also like converted yeah well that was same with me like if I buy something like from them for it I'd want to buy a couple things so I have options I spent quite a lot of money shopping there and I'm not even kidding I've never worn them because I just I didn't like them on and I just thought like the models they have modeling the dresses are just so Unrealistic. like gorgeous they so, and they look yeah. incredible the dresses look incredible on them but I was like when I just don't were... look like this when yeah. I put the dress on um <clears throat> so I was a little bit let down when I opened the parcel but I've now put them on Depop so if anyone wants to purchase them or has anything coming up yeah I was thinking House of CB because I think they sell House of CB in Maya so I could go and have a look but they're like triple the price yeah but they've got some okay ones like some okay reasonably priced ones yeah. and you could just try them well, on I for just sizing have a look. yeah just try them on for size because I've tried them on before too one time and I was a little bit confused in the sizing like the 8 was too big for me but the 6 was too tight so like Just wanted to get your advice on my situation. I've been talking to this guy since Easter, so I feel like, you know, you need to take a step back and let him put in effort or show his interest yeah. himself, you know, him go out of his way and organize the date yeah. and like... And that's fine, like, yeah. his priorities are not dating at the moment and his priorities are just like work and himself. That's honestly so that's fine. fine. Yeah. We are all done. We are all done. It feels good to get that done. We're now done, and now we get to go we shopping. Go and have some food. I'm so hungry. We've got like two and a half hours. Yeah. I'd say probably more. Two and a half hours. Free We're gonna go get some food though, because we're both starving. trying to look for their mum in a grocery store because Olivia told me to meet her in Sephora and now I can't find her. I also purchased some new shoes which I'll have to show you guys. They got them in today so oh yeah I actually need to get some of them. These are so good. So it's really dark now. It's 
the sun's gone down and it's night time. It like does it o'clock. get dark fast? Um, probably like the same as this. Yeah. Actually, one month until yeah, daylight me. savings changes, I think. It doesn't for us though. In Not Queensland. But it's still like Sunsets the like sun rises. In summer, the sun rises yeah, for us true. like 4:35 a.m. and it gets so light so early. But yeah, I'm heading back to the airport. It's been a very short trip. I'm flying home tonight. Things that we got. I'm not gonna haul you my shopping tonight. I'll just haul you tomorrow. And it was quite rushed as well, so we didn't really get to shop as much as we. Did. I did a little bit of impulsive shopping. I feel like if I think about it too much, then I just don't buy things. So I just was like, don't think. <laughs> Don't just think, fly. just tap. <laughs> but anyways, I'll show you them tomorrow. I'm heading to the airport now, so. <laughs> Lucky I'm editing this one. You just electrocuted me. I know, what's me. going on? Oh, it's so electric. I just got back from the Sunday markets and I thought I'd give you guys a little haul of the few things I got the other day at the shops when I was with Olivia. Um, I really didn't get that much, but I did get something which is one of my current favorite purchases. I think it's going to be my hot for this week, to be honest. If you're part of the group chat, then you don't know what that means. But I got these shoes. Spazels, Spazels. I'm actually obsessed with them. I am obsessed with them. They got them in on the day that I purchased them and they're like all in stock and everything. So I was like, would be just silly not to get them when they're like $170, they're like retail price. Cause I went online and like everywhere sells them for like 200, 300. And I was like, they literally just got them in store. So it's my sign, I have to get them. And yeah, I'm actually obsessed with them. I wore them today to the markets for the first time. I went into Brandy Melville because I just love like their pajamas, like their little shorts and things for bed, like in summer, especially cause it's just already starting to get so hot here now. So I just like their little shorts for bed. I saw a girl on Pinterest wearing these. So I was like, I need them. <laughs> And then I just got some plain singlets as well. So I got this plain black singlet. And then I just got a plain gray singlet as well. And then I also got my pimple patch stickers from Sephora because they are like one of the best pimple patches I've ever tried in my life. And they're so good. So I had to get another box of them because I've run out. That was kind of all I got. I am in the middle of editing this video right now. So I think we're going to be back together next week. So... Um, we'll have some more videos together next week. Yeah, I hope you guys just enjoyed this little daily vlog. If you guys are not already a part of our podcast group chat, then be sure to go follow us over there. So guys, I didn't end up getting around to giving you a haul um, when I got when I was shopping with Ashley, but I just got a few little basics. Um, I got this lace. It's like a cream lace singlet which is just a cute little basic to have. And I also got this little singlet for bed. Oh, I also got like some little gray shorts for bed as well, which I don't really know why, cause I'm cold at night time. They're in the wash, so I can't show you those. And I also got those uh, pimple stickers. And that was all I got. We, it was pretty rushed because we, I had to drop Ashley for the airport, but I also don't think I have mentioned it on here, but I mentioned it on TikTok and I think I mentioned it on the podcast, but I am doing City to Surf tomorrow, <laughs> which if you don't know what that is, it's like a 14 kilometer fun run. Yeah, and I impulsively decided to do it with my friend who, my friend is pretty good at running, so I'll probably not stay with her because I'm sure she'll run very far ahead of me. I have not had enough time to prepare for it at all. Like I have only run maybe like five or seven Ks and like, that was with walking as well so so yeah I'm kind of nervous and I literally have been so nervous all day because I just like have never done something s like this before so it was very intimidating but I went and picked up my little running bibs I went and picked up our little running bibs um and I also bought <laughs> I look a bit like a professional <laughs> but I bought this little running vest thing that people wear when they go for a run and it's just basically like somewhere I can put my phone, keys. Um, I'll probably put some of the lollies in there as well to eat after the run. Just eat a snake. And yeah, just somewhere that I can put all my things so I'm not like running with them in my hand. Yeah, I've got like my phone, headphones charged. Yeah, I'm excited, but I'm also, yeah, just really nervous. But I'll let you, go and let you guys know how I go. I feel like I haven't spoken much about like my, you know, my skin or health much because we used to be like really 
you know, open about it. But I feel like I haven't really, over the past year or so, like I haven't really had much issues. But lately I have been feeling very out of alignment with my body, um, like my hormones, my skin has not been great. I've been struggling with it for a few months. Um, yeah, just a few other things that have been going on and I'm just wanting to kind of get back on top of it all. So I'm booked in for a naturopath. She's like a naturopath and a homeopath together, like combined. So I'm booked in with her on Wednesday night. It's just like a over the phone consult or like a Zoom meeting. And I'm hoping that she can like help me out. I have seen a homeopath in the past and she honestly like changed my life. Like I never have had such a positive experience with like a doctor, a naturopath or anyone of like that sort of sort ever since. And she unfortunately doesn't work anymore. So I had to find a new one. So that's what I'm doing. I have a little meeting on Wednesday. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with how it goes, but... <laughs> guys I have not left the bed since I got home well I had a shower I had a shower which just felt so good because I felt all sweaty and gross ever since getting home I have not left the bed because my whole body is just so sore like I've got blisters on my feet and like my joints are sore I definitely think I will sleep well tonight yeah the run was like I feel so good after doing it in the sense of like mentally you don't really know how much you're capable of until you do it. And like, yeah, I did way better than I expected, like time wise, because I timed it on Strava. And yeah, I just I'm so proud of myself, I guess, for like doing it and just giving it a go. I would say about like three or four kilometers in, I started getting a stitch and I was like, oh my God, here we go. Like, I'm not going to be able to get rid of this. So I like walked, there was a, quite a few times where I had to like walk a bit because my stitch was just like so bad. And then, yeah, I just like kept running and like went away eventually. But yeah, I definitely didn't run the whole thing. The atmosphere was amazing. Like on the sidelines, there's people like handing out food, water, and like, you know, it was just so well done. Like it was just so cool. But yeah, I've never run that far in my life. So I'm glad to say that I like now I can say I have done it and I have ran that far. Yeah, the last few kilometers was really like mentally hard, I would say, because you just so badly want to like walk and rest. But then you're like, no, I want to run the rest of it. So then once you like start seeing like the end of it and I can say like the finish line. Yeah, it was like, oh, nearly done. But yeah, anyways. Yeah, that is all from me.